Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we're we'll gonna be talking about selling the sprouts. So if you have a great consumer product that you think should be in their stores, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to selling the sprouts. With that said, let's get started on today's training. Now, the reason I decided to create this particular segment is because I teach people all over the globe on how to generate revenue with their consumer products brands and sprouts comes up a lot. Why? Because maybe you have a natural organic product or maybe you need something else to sell to a natural store. Maybe Whole Foods is rejecting you or whatever retailer it is. And you just need an opportunity to get things moving. And so Sprouts is an opportunity for those of you who have natural products, grocery products, and so forth. And so that's why I wanted to create this training to give you some ideas, tips, and strategies on how to get started today. Please note, we create a ton of training. Subscribe, add uh, this to your uh, life. We are constantly uh, supporting people with talking about specific retailers and so much more. Click on the button below. We appreciate you. Okay, Sprouts Farmer's Market. Basically, Sprouts is a very large natural foods retailer. I have actually many clients who sell to them. I have a client who has a product called the Diva Cup. She sells to that retailer. Basically, it's for menstrual products, but it's a natural alternative to, say, a tampon, something like that. I have a client who sells toilet paper, bamboo toilet paper, and they started out just dreaming of selling to chain stores and they got that product in the stores. I also have another product client who's got bath salts that are natural from the Dead Sea and stuff. So a lot of differing types of products. So why do they always gravitate towards Sprouts? Because when it's a smaller chain, they tend to say yes more. So that's why. So one of the things that I teach people in my trainings and workshops and so forth is, and it's and there's no guarantee that you get into their stores. But what I want to say is that when you go after a major retailer like Safeway or whatever it is, a lot of times everybody, all of your competitors are reaching out to them, right? They're all trying to sell to the big companies, the big brands, trying the biggest amount of dollars and so forth. But a lot of times they are so focused on having their name out there and working on the lar- with the largest ones that they ignore the smaller and regional chains. And so that's why Sprouts is pretty cool because of the fact that uh, not everybody's thinking about them. Maybe you don't even have Sprouts in your area. Uh, There's a lot of reasons why you wouldn't consider going after them. And so the national ones tend to be a little trickier um, if you are just getting started and so forth. So I like Sprouts because uh, they definitely tend to uh, pick my client's products. I don't know. So I like that, but also because they have a very nice broad selection. Obviously the stuff that I talked to you about were products that were not grocery. So if you have a food product and so forth, that's very different than selling at consumer product brands at a retailer, but it's just something to think about a lot of times retailers like Sprouts, grocery chains, they sell a lot of different types of products beyond grocery stuff. They baths, bath products and cosmetics and all sorts of things, even consumer electronics, a lot of different gifts and obviously natural types of products and so forth. The reason I mentioned that is because maybe you're not even thinking about your product being a natural product or a product ideal for this retailer, but my recommendation is go check them out and see what they sell. They might actually sell a product similar to yours. I've seen clothing in there. I've seen all sorts of things in that store and they have a big space. And so one of the things that I noticed in my workshops and classes is that people tend to not go after retailers because they say, oh, that doesn't make sense for my product because I don't know, they just make assumptions. Like for instance, a lot of times people don't think about selling to Home Depot if they don't have a home improvement product. That's actually silly. When I recently went to BevMo, which is a grocery chain for beverages, They were selling toothbrushes. They were selling all sorts of things. These retailers are selling all sorts of crazy random things. So please consider going after the natural food stores if you're not even a natural food product uh, company because it could actually support you in generating revenue. One chain store order can mean millions of dollars to your business and your bottom line. And a lot of times when people go after stores, they just only focus on their top three favorite retailers and they don't expand their market and so forth. So Uh, That's something to consider with Sprouts. Anyways, I hope that provided value for you. Definitely think about them as an opportunity in regards to a grocery chain um, that has a variety of different things uh, that they're selling. Uh, If you have a snack product, if you have ethnic products, 
whatever it is, definitely consider going after sprouts. And again, these regional ones I love talking about because you might have never thought about reaching out to them. They're very similar to a Whole Foods. Anyways, Karen Wax from Retail MBA. I hope this provided value. If you want to know exactly how to approach, pitch, and sell sprouts and other grocery chains, click on the link below. We have a free webinar that explains how to do that. Also, we have live events, training programs, done for you services, and so much more. Karen Waxman, Retail MBA. Subscribe, join us. Thank you.